Um, I was a midwife in France when I came. I'd been working there for seven years and uh, I'm a midwife now as well. But it took me a while to get around to be a midwife again. So I wasn't a midwife straight away when I came. My job in Chile was a senior financial analyst and um, I'm now I'm currently as a, working as a management accountant for the cage division. Uh, I was actually a psychometrician in the Philippines. I was also uh, employed as a um, a uh, social worker in a social civic organization in the Philippines. So, but now I am employed as a uh, multicultural health development officer in the multicultural health service, so I'm enjoying it. The key difference was the, the level of responsibility, the, the structure of, um, of the work was very different in, in France to what it is in Australia. Um, coming here when I finally got registered, it took me quite a few years to get registered, um, uh, it was very different. Just the level, uh, the collaboration was different and, uh, and the hierarchy was very different in the hospitals here. So it was a big adjustment. Mm. In terms of accounting, there's not much difference, only about the labour laws and tax laws that we have in different countries, but the foundations of accounting, the job that I do is the same. There is some more protection for staff, I guess, you know, working in Australia. Um, we've got the industrial relations that really work for the, uh, uh, that really support the uh, staff, the employees. Food. <laughs> um, I came 33 years ago, so it was a very long time ago. and. Um, I was, yeah, the food was very different, um, and, but when I first came it, it was um, I think the, the, the freedom that people experienced here in Australia, that was very, the, the, the lack of, um, I suppose, you know, in Europe we've got a lot of, you know, structure around things and, and um, uh, there's a lot of, like the past we have to take into account and uh, I've found people a lot freer here. Uh, the first one that we found is the laid-back style of the country and that's what was one of the main reasons that we moved to Australia because it's very laid-back and people tend to be a bit more relaxed. And the other one is about uh, life in the outdoors. So we enjoy a lot going outdoors, you know, trekking and, and going to the beach and having that, you know, cultural lifestyle that we got here. Well, we live there in whatever resources the family has. So it's more of very family-oriented kind of thing. We rely on the family um, assistance. We don't have all this luxury of the benefits we have here in Australia. Uh, well, communication, the, the, the language barrier. Um, it's, it's okay now because I've been here for a long time, but um, in the beginning, um, not understanding the colloquialisms. So, you know, I had, to, I had to ask for help a lot of the times. Uh, it's a lot of jargons, uh, a lot of abbreviations. Australians use a lot of nicknames and shortened things, so uh, it takes a while to get the hang of it. Uh, but once you learn all the, you know, s basic uh, slang and stuff, you, you can get around. Uh, in my case, this is the first time that I'm working for health and, and for the uh, public sector. So it's been a, another learning curve about, you know, the way government works. That uh, there isn't many people from non-English speaking background staff here. So there is, a bit, there is a big challenge actually for me because I can see that it's very Anglo and a lot of times is there is that big cultural differences. There is that non-understanding of the culture that you have. say look, look at them from their point of view like instead of you know being judgmental or, or you know not understanding it's you know learn a little bit about where they come from and their culture. And I think uh, one of the things that is have some empathy sometimes it's not it's very hard for patients with limited English to communicate and say what's going wrong with them trying to lead them to see what what's going on inside their bodies because obviously you know if they kind of speak the language properly they're going to have issues trying to communicate that uh, 
The other one, I, I would say, have some uh, open-minded about cultural differences. Yeah. So, uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say here is treat them the way you want to be treated uh, yourself and with due respect, regardless of their cultural background and their linguistic background. Very good. Um, it's been, I, I find the health service has been very supportive and um, and I have been able to um, to do a lot of things like new courses and uh, expand in my in my role and have been given a lot of opportunities. It's taken me a little while to be employed in Central Coast Local Health, but I've been here for uh, 20 years now. So uh, after the first few little hurdles, you know, to, to come up here, it has been fantastic, and I've, I've been very happy here. Oh, uh, great! Actually, uh, came, came, I came from the private sector, so it's a very much. Uh, different mentality so private sector is more about the profit 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 whereas here is about service to the public so I have to reset my mind around that and also the people that I'm working with they are great I like working in health because it's very diverse um, I engage with I liaise with uh, be, um, staff from Allied Health and like that, so you get to know them and there are doctors as well, so it's a very diverse environment which uh, makes it more um, um, inspiring.